So, dear ladies and gentlemen, any gentlemen in the room, uh, survivors, uh, I do hope I'll call from the technical staff so far. Uh, well, unfortunately, some people disappeared and they will not have a chance to see some, uh, to, to see survivors of the Kinset <laughs> that was very much spoken about today. Well, actually, uh, Kinset was a glorious story. And it still is, and it actually, I believe, still um, uh, waits for some serious analysis and better understanding of what, what has happened. It was massive, it was huge. Um, it was along the line with the way how the country was developing. Uh, and it was a glorious crash as well. And so when we talk about the networking, uh, what actually uh, stayed after Kinset? We we should uh, say that this is mostly people. And Elena Lenska, she mentioned that um, many people actually uh, did good career, uh, good leadership career, took certain positions either in uh, educational institutions, did academic career, or just mm, moved along the line of um, uh, less probably recognized professional networking and professional development. Uh, but um, I will try not to be that serious about um, the demands that actually we are trying to impose upon practical teachers, those people who are in the classroom. In fact, when you talk, when you think about professional development, CPD, continuous professional development, which starts and never ends, uh, can you imagine, I will give you just a couple of minutes to think, can you imagine, what do you want now? You're professionals, you're working in the classroom. What are your needs at the moment? <coughs> you may shout out from your places. What would be your professionally developing course, training, event that you're really wishing to get? Any, any dreams, any thoughts? Course on assessment. Course on assessment. Could you specify what sort of course on assessment would you like to get? In order to be a better teacher and better understand what you're doing in the classroom, not necessarily to become a test developer, a test designer, but to understand what's going on and how to work with this. Would you like this course to be online, face to face, here in Krasnoyarsk, in Moscow, uh, in the UK? <laughs> So professional, uh, a really renowned professional who would be the leader of the course, the content of it, and some practical result in the end, that you really can do something. Any other ideas? What would be your preferences? Do you know exactly what you want? If I give you a thousand pounds, and what would you buy in professional development? Nothing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sounds weird actually. So, uh, ELT professional in Siberia, what would be the constraints? How it may happen? What sort of professional development you are already taking or have taken? Normally, yeah, these are in service courses that you get through the, through the state governmental uh, institutions. Something that is identified by some decision makers and something that actually is considered to be your need, right? Right, okay. Uh, you are all parents, aren't you? Raise the hands those who are parents in this room. Fantastic. How will you choose a teacher for your child, a teacher of English? Well, what do you want from, from the teacher? What competences? What will be the most important? Good knowledge of the subject. What is the subject of English? 
No subject. <laughs> no subject. There may be some content, but we do do actually speak about developing competences uh, of acquiring a foreign language and applying it later, right? Yes, and uh, sometimes teachers use disabilities for students' knowledge. Okay, uh, this is something which is uh, secondary. So you want the teacher to be able to speak English, first of all, right? <laughs> it's a bit weird, but you, you see it all around, when teachers teach English and Russian. It's not only in this country. In many countries, people would teach English in Chinese or Chinese and Portuguese or something like this. Uh, because, uh, because of this lack of subject, we tend to feel more comfortable and safe when we take grammar rules, words. Uh, you've learned another list of words. Okay, good boy, you get an excellent mark. Well, this is exaggeration. However, Andre uh, was actually speaking about the changing world. And this is absolutely right. Uh, students, when they grow up after school, go to university and will apply for some jobs. We actually don't know what jobs they will be applying. So the situation is awful. We're teaching people something <laughs> that we don't know that they will actually use or how they will use it or what will happen to them. What sort of profession, what sort of English they will, will need. And so on and so forth. So actually, we need a teacher who uh, is good at constantly developing regarding the language, and this is the core. I don't want a teacher for my child who doesn't speak proper English. Uh, and the second will be methodology. How well you can pass over, activate, uh, make students use language speaking. So, how to in Siberia? Do we have any reason to speak English here? <laughs> Unless we have we have such sort of gatherings. It's a question, yeah? So what is it? What sort of English? How to extend the environment? Many, many issues actually uh, pop out. And in fact, it reminds me of this funny image with Simpson, who is not very popular today in some, in some institutions. So who needs it? Many, many would say like this. Students would say something like this. Who needs it? I never go to, to England. Even students in Siberia Federal University would say, oh, I'm doing you know, engineering. I'm not sure I will need English at all. Or I will, I will use Google. Some simple things will be OK. I will write an article, but you will translate it for me. No, I will not, because in order to write an article, you need to be able to write it in line with the traditions, cultural norms of Anglo-Saxon world. A lot of issues, actually. So what and how are two actually issues that we need to consider? And the most important is to identify your needs to know now what you actually need today and what are your ambitions for the future. Are you planning to stay at school and do your career at school? Are you planning something else? Money is not enough. You do some private tuition. It's about money, but actually, are you doing the job that well that people are knocking at the door and standing in a queue? These are the issues that are happening at the moment. Um, so, in fact, so this is the last for this slide. In fact, we do talk about various uh, continuous professional development opportunities. And the life, the world changed dramatically since 1996, in fact, 1994, when we started this um, pre kinset era, then kinset era, and we actually did a lot. And as I say, many things stayed on people, and the uh, uh, the, the quality issue is something that is actually recognized in the professional community. Quality. How well you're doing your job. How well you can actually teach. Can you prepare? Not just for unified national exams. Can you prepare for life? Are, are students, are your school leavers, uh, speak really the English that is understandable and uh, comprehended. So we do speak about systemic, and as we said, uh, gatherings like these, or trainings that in Service Teacher Training Institute, IPCRO provides, this is systemic. Unfortunately, it is limited. Elena Lenska was uh, giving a lot of examples about international experience, but in fact, 
there are no countries where um, in service teacher training would get lavish amount of money. Uh, maybe the issue is probably in being more practical, uh, not throwing away what has already been done, uh, building on what has been achieved, which unfortunately was not the case for, for Russia and for Krasnodarsk in particular. That's why we feel so much disappointed about it. So systemic uh, professional development through, through formal trainings can be logical, can be um, very efficient and effective, provided the system knows what it was, what's actually. What, what is the target? What sort of teacher do you want in the classroom? And how do you allocate the money, this issue of, of uh, accountability? Uh, no systemic, which actually is flourishing at the moment. People like yourselves, and mostly people who work in the private sector, uh, they do recognize that unless they're getting better and better with English, and unless they do their job, their teaching methodology uh, in the best way possible, they will not be in the market. Uh, in this respect, we do have some sort of um, advantages, a lot of advantages, because we, we have this profession. There are no teachers on maths. Even if robots will come, we will not lose the job. Because if you're a good teacher of English, you will find your way. This is the um, nice marketing position. And some people, you probably know them, maybe some of you will make such decisions. They leave the system, they go to the private sector, and they think about this non-systemic. Non-systemic, when you find what you need, you may start with, you find what you want, but in fact, you need to find, to look for something that you really need, and you need to be clever to identify your needs. You have this 1,000 pounds, but actually, it's not that much for, for a proper in-service training. You need to decide what is your priority, what will be first. Uh, will you earn any money for this? Or will you take something for free virtually? So at virtually, you can find a lot of stuff of fantastic quality. And that's actually the third item in, in this list. Face to face, of course, Lena Natojeva said, yes, I want it for face to face. Why so? Because it's more than just passing over the knowledge. It's more than just completing some exercises. It's more just virtual communication. You need to see people. You need to talk, especially talking to people through coffee breaks. It's very, very valuable. I'm not joking. Through coffee breaks, people just change the world. <laughs> they, they make a decision. They fi find good and complex and, uh, uh, opportunities. And professional networks and uh, professional communities. We do have quite a, quite a network of English language professionals across Russia at the moment. Uh, because um, it's not only after Kinset associations like Kelta, Omelta, Yarelta, blah blah blah, some are on the surface, some drowned, doesn't matter. Uh, the professional links are still there. You connect, you know the people. So when Olga invited me to come here, I said, why, why don't we invite, invite people from other regions? And we did it actually over the night. We even found the money to bring the people. So it is possible when you know, when you have connections. And these are the, uh, actually the networks, the, these are the connections. I don't think that pragmatically, pragmatically, practically, I don't need more than that. So you need to know the people, you need to understand who to ask, you, but first of all, you need to, to know what you want. Then you make your search. Right. Uh, in Krasnoyarsk, what do we actually have? We do have a regional association which transformed mostly into, um, it's not just virtual contacts, it's virtual platform through which you can get information, you can upload your own information, and we can agree on certain events, actions, whatever. And my experience shows that people are not that active with this. People are mostly, maybe because of the consent, uh, glory in the past, people are more used uh, to get. Uh, I remember in the old times, people would come to the area downstairs and say, have you got anything new? In methodology? No, nothing. Okay, I will come next time. So I'm, again, I'm a little bit exaggerating, but this is the problem. It's not about 
uh, of course, it would be nice if, if, if some professional community or this institution would have a good timetable schedule for different events. Like, for example, in many uh, similar educational institutions in America, they do have a, a schedule for, for a year. And the, the trainings, the seminars, collections of them may even lead a practicing teacher to a MA degree. Again, this is what should go from the top because this is systemic. Now you guys, you need, I hope, you need to develop. So what can you get from, uh, from not just from myself, I'm not, I'm, not doing, I'm not doing it always. What can you get from each other? It's like when you're playing in the same playground. If you want to get expertise, okay, we can find you someone who will help you. What can you bring? What would be your share? What would be your contribution? Then the professional community can work, can survive somehow. Um, the same is about consultancy. Talking about Kelta, we do have these reaches, uh, these connections across this country and internationally. Uh, we, we just become a part of uh, umbrella need, and this is a very powerful connection. Not ideal, not perfect, but actually it gives a chance to meet regularly, uh, to to meet regular regular on big events or to meet uh, at such gatherings like this, when someone can come and uh, add to, to to what is going on to give a fresh uh, look. Uh, Kelta is actually part of uh, affiliated associations internationally to INTEFL. I hope you know what INTEFL is. International Association of Teachers of English as a Foreign Language, which is located in uh, UK, uh, officially in Kent, but actually it exists uh, across, across the UK. And people actually arrange um, annual uh, conferences, huge and very ambitious, but also small-scale events that can be, can be helpful. In fact, we might organize something under the umbrella of IATFL, provided the, uh, the city, uh, the local mm -hmm. educational institutions, or any institution would, would take it. Because Kelta, Kelta is in the air, we are not having any, any specific location. When, when, for example, you are registered, you need to be either an owner of a building or a room or whatever. It's, it's, it's a little bit too much for a professional network that wants to stay uh, maybe not very directly connected with anyone, just to have some autonomy. Uh, we, we do have with, with TSO, which is American Association, but not that uh, deeply as with ITEFL. And uh, through different events, uh, it's been for, for years, when, when we try to organize something, we can't do it, we do not have finance. But what we do, we find support. We find people who might be interested in something, or just be invited like we are invited now and today. Uh, for example, we've been working with the Ministry of Education, probably some of you were part of this event when British Council gave us the resource uh, and the resource was extremely valuable. It was Russell Stannard, actually, one of the best British experts, who came and gave uh, workshops and presentations. Ministry of Education informed the people, and Siberian Federal actually hosted us for free. Wow. Okay, um, we do work with British Council, and actually you might know that British Council is not anymore running any face-to-face -face events across Russia, only in Moscow. Uh, this is disappointing, but what can be done? Uh, actually, uh, raise the hands those who are using the, the site. Yeah, not very many people, but it's for free. It's there. Plenty of uh, virtual stuff that you can use. Bring into your classroom, ready-made um, classroom plans, uh, personal, uh, professional development, many, many, many things. I don't think you will uh, you can you can cover all through one life. You probably need five or six lives just to cover the virtual stuff. Uh, and uh, British Council, they also have a fantastic 
a supportive tool when you want to identify what exactly might be your need as a professional. They have a greed that, that prompts you. So you're a beginner teacher, you are developed and advanced teacher. Probably you need this course. All courses of course in good English and they do, do have connections with other organizations. So it does work as a network and it is convenient and it is simple. And you, you, can, you can make mistakes, actually. No one will hear you. Right. Um, we do a copyright with English language office in Russia, which is mm, an arm of uh, American embassy. And thanks to the ELO, uh, we have uh, Evgeny and Elena with us today. They actually give some small grants in support of professional events. So complaining that we are absolutely having nothing. No, we, we can develop, we can create opportunities, and this is good. Uh, that is why, actually, uh, when you are part of Celtic community, which means that you just need to register on Facebook and, and, and subscribe to Celtic page, if you have some ideas that would be valuable for a bigger professional community, we can find the resource. We, we have outreaches and connections. Um, we do participate when we can, and it could be your personal money, the money of your institution where you work, maybe your school. My university from time to time actually uh, supports business trips to participate in all Russia ELT events, which may be part of NATE umbrella or something else. Uh, at least the information is available. Uh, in the previous year, fantastic conferences were in Vladivostok, quite a distant, but it was Asia TAFO, and it was worth visiting actually. Absolutely outstanding international event. You don't need to, to go abroad or get visa or whatever. Um, many things are happening in Moscow, and many things are happening in different parts of Russia. There was um, a NATE conference in Yekaterinburg. Uh, Elena was actually arranging it. The next is going to happen in Moscow. So it, it is there. So if you're interested, the information is available. Um, uh, well, I've mentioned ITEFL. I just want to say that um, at first glance, you may think that ITEFL is something which is unachievable. Yes, to, to, to become a member of ITEFL, unfortunately, Kelta affiliation doesn't give any discounts. Or if it does, it's, it's not very, a very big amount. But if you're seriously interested in participating you need to register and you can apply for a huge list of international scholarships. And many people from Vietnam, Hong Kong, whatever, they win these scholarships. They're practicing teachers. Uh, go there, find, probably this could be someone uh, of you. Uh, I've, I've, I've been at the gathering of uh, Hornby trustees quite recently. Uh, and in fact, uh, I am empowered, not to nominate, but I am empowered to promote a person from Russia for a Hornby scholarship, provided this is a practicing uh, teacher with good English. So if you have any ideas about yourselves or somebody else, wave me. Okay, so go to the ITFL site and check what is available. You will find Kelta there, by the way. Uh, the same about TESOL. By the way, you can apply for TESOL uh, if you feel like a good presenter. The deadline is 1st of June, right? You may try to apply. If you win, probably you will get the scholarship as well. Right. Um, what could be the opportunities, as I have already mentioned? Associative membership, scholarships and grants, online participation. Uh, ITFO uh, is available online. Have, uh, has any of you tried? to follow ITFL online. Yeah? It is fantastic quality. Sometimes it's a little better than, than being part of it face to face because you're not distracted. You just, you can, you can you know, lie on your sofa and watch fantastic presentations of key <coughs> world leaders. Uh, conferences, webinars, webinars are available from ITFL and from British Council, absolutely for free. So if you are registered, as, as an ITFL member, you can you will be getting announcements about webinars and you can use them. As well as professional discussions and networks, by the way. Cambridge English teacher, you probably know this. 
uh, and it might be interesting to those who are seriously thinking about certification. Um, I think it's not only self-satisfaction, self-indulgement to get Cambridge language uh, proving certificate, but it's also your good credential in the market. So when your parents find out that you've got CAE certificate, wow, you're the best at school. And you may actually charge your job outside school. Uh, and also getting a certification for your proving your uh, professional teaching qualification. The, the lowest and the easiest is TKT, Teacher Knowledge Test, uh, which you actually can take here in Krasnoyarsk through, through our uh, exam center. But you may move further, and I already know uh, some people in Krasnoyarsk who took efforts, paid their money, pretty big money, to get CELTA. CELTA is international recognized, practice-based um, certificate which gives you a chance to work anywhere in any country of the world. Uh, so, uh, a fantastic resource. Anyone uh, who, who tried any course on future learning? <coughs> yeah, so British Council is a good, is a good cooperation with future learning. At least three or four fantastic uh, EOT courses are there. And uh, they've made an advancement for the recent two years. You can get a certificate for, for, um, for a program. You, you buy a certificate, it, but it's reasonable money. It's like, I don't know, to, to go to a stylist or hairdresser. So it, 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 gives me, it gives me some sort of comfort when I see that, wow, so many pounds, but then I transfer it into the cost of a service to a beauty saloon, a spa. Okay, I can sacrifice some, some of my beauty for my, for my intellectual development. Right, and what, one of the courses, uh, as an example, understanding language, learning and teaching, very, very helpful, very, very useful. In Krasnoyarsk, uh, the uh, book fair, uh, which is run and supported by Prokhorov's Foundation, I believe many of you are visiting it every autumn. Um, well, at least every two years, they cooperate with British Council and they bring, I don't know, outstanding people, writers, and this autumn, the previous autumn, they brought this um, Andrew Dick, Dick, Dixon, Dickinson, Dixon, Andrew Dixon, who, who is an expert in, in Shakespeare study. Young guy, talking about Shakespeare as if he's a uh, next door neighbor. And many, many Krasnoyar citizens were enjoying it. So, and actually, uh, talking about our partnerships, yes, we do cooperate with higher educational institutions, uh, Siberian Federal in particular, and maybe some of the images are quite familiar to you. Right, this is our page. Uh, it's easy to get there. If you're, if you're not on Facebook, register today. Uh, and on Facebook, find Kelton, knock at the door. I will let you in and you will enjoy our company. Uh, well, summer vacation is actually coming. Enjoy your summer for professional development and networking. I'm not joking. Many people take CPD courses on summer and spend their own money and do not regret about it. Well, thank you very much. I think I have overtaken time. Okay, thank you. If any questions, maybe later after we finish the presentation. I pass over to my colleagues from our network across Russia and all who will announce from here. Yeah?